Hey, Simleys, it's Deligracy here with part uh, 52 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Wow, 52 parts. Like, that is so cool. I'm so proud of us. This is the longest running LP I've ever done. And I am loving it. So for those of you who are asking, is this continuing? Hells, yeah, it is. <laughs> it certainly is. But we're going to be making a few changes because Desmond did propose to Liberty in the last part and they're engaged. It's really, really cute. Um, so the thing is we have eight Sims in this family. Liberty is well into her young adulthood and I do want her to start a family. So with Desmond. So I think what we're going to actually do is move some of these Sims out into new houses and start reorganizing everyone. So this is the last part of this series where we will be in these two townhouses. It's sad, but the houses will be here. They're available for download. So, you know, new Sims can move in and enjoy them. And who knows, we might move back into them in the future. But anyways, I can see a cute little huggle there between Xavier and Ashton, who we are going to be moving into a bachelor pad very soon. Um, so they're going to be moved out because I cannot have Trinity and Cody pass away because they're the eldest. We can't have them pass away without realizing during the LP. So we're going to be moving them into a townhouse uh, with Desiree and Carter and then... Um, Desmond and Liberty will be living next door to the townhouse. So later on, Ashton and Xavier will replace Trinity and Cody and they will probably move into the townhouse too. But anyways, let's start packing up a few of the things that we do want to keep. Um, and I'm going to be selling because I don't want to keep all of the furniture. Uh, the boys' house is already furnished, so we don't have to worry about that. But um, we do... Yeah. Okay, so let's pack up this gorgeous house. Uh, Trudy and Cody are going to be moving into quite a different home. So not all of their furniture is going to suit, unfortunately. But we will place into the family inventory a few of these. Sorry, Desmond, I'm going to take that from you um, to carry with them because we need these. And we might take the stove too. Uh, I don't think the ceilings are high enough for those. We'll put in new kitchen appliances, so we don't need to keep those. Uh, I might keep the dining table, because I like that, and ooh, we might keep Trinity's... these types of things. We might keep Trinity's home office. Where did we actually... Oh, here we go. Like, where did the home office go? I love this bathroom. I'm going to miss that bathroom. We might keep these mirrors. We'll move them all out at first and we'll move Ashton and Xavier into their own places. Or into their own place, rather. Trinity moving out. Wow, times are changing. But change is, is a good thing. Hmm. Okay, so let's move them into these townhouses I built. Uh, we're going to get them unfurnished. And we're still going to have $60,000 left over. The boys will have to use a cheat to move out. Um, but it's okay. I'm excited to show you guys the new house. If you did watch the speed build, I've gotten rid of one of the townhouses. Uh, and made a few changes. Alrighty, so I've just moved them into their new townhouse. It's all furnished, it's all ready to go. And Xavier and Ashton have moved into their new house, which we'll go we'll go visit them in a little while. But basically, here's the townhouses. I'll do the quick uh I suppose I should do the quick tour. So in the pink house is where Desiree, Trinity, and Cody are living. Trinity and Cody. Well, Trinity has retired. Cody refused to. Um, but if I just take you through the house, we have a glass staircase. Very Trinity with lots of pinks and pastels through the house. Because that's just... That's just Trinity, you know? <laughs> um, if we go to the dining room, it's all very lovely and feminine. And, oh, family bonding time. How sweet. Uh, we did need to include a nice kitchen for Cody to do all his chef practice in. But they've definitely downsized um, from their last house. Definitely. Um, 
If we actually go upstairs, though. Ooh -wee. Uh, so, you can go through this door and it takes you to the terrace. Or we have a nice chess table here. Um, I'm losing track of where we are. So, let's just go to a bird's eye view. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, that's the other house. So we have Trinity and Cody's room here, a home office for them and an ensuite. And then we have Desiree's room here. So if we go into Desiree's room, it's just got nice stickers everywhere and very teenagey because she's a teenager. So that's all nicely set up. And you can see this speed renovation. Uh, I'll try and pop it up at the same time as this video is posted. And Trinity's dream office is just in here. And I love that she's got a nice couch and everything with cushions there. Uh, the other house isn't probably as nice, um, but it's meant to look like it's been newly renovated for young people. It's meant to be really youthful looking. So I thought the tree was fun. Uh, it's got exposed brick in it, like Liberty's old house. And Gertrude the fish is still in this LP, still staying strong. Um, so nice dining area. If you go upstairs, this is Carter's room here. Temporary room, so it's the wallpaper deliberately doesn't really suit him. Desiree and Desmond's room in here where Desmond's sleeping and bang, exciting. Uh, this is going to be the nursery. Okay, uh-oh, dirty dishes are piling up and Carter can't keep up. Carter can either overload the dishwasher or give up and leave some unwashed. No point overloading it. Sometimes it's good to know your limits. Carter leaving a few dishes unwashed isn't the end of the world. Perfection, good, 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 good. Uh, okay, so, um. Let's see how everyone's going. Desiree's having time with her dad here. And I love her little buns in her hair. I think they're really cute. Let's invite Alec over maybe. Just to hang. Just to hang uh, maybe for dinner or something. Desmond's really tired. Oh, no, he's not that tired. So let's just get him and Liberty to have dinner of their own here. Hopefully they make their own dinner in their own kitchen. <laughs> Be interesting to see how these houses work uh, compared to last time. Liberty is in the wrong house. So let's get her to just watch some, let's just get her to channel surf for a little, a little while while Desmond takes care of his lady. Trinity, that's not your house, woman. <laughs> it's not your house. Uh, but let's get Trinity to maybe Oh, there's no point getting Trinity to cook. If anything, we should get Cody to cook because he cooks gourmet meals, which is pretty awesome. He can do some salt and pepper shrimp. Alex should be over soon. Question is, which door will he go to? Hmm. We might set uh, the pink door as the front door just so we always know where to look if we invite a guest over. But that, I mean, this family's so close. They just freely use each other's houses. Desiree looks like she lives in a really perfect home, but she doesn't really appreciate the feminine touches that her mom has put in as much as her mom. Good to see Desmond's learning to cook. How about you grab a serving Liberty and let's watch Cody cook. He's such a pro. Uh, he should be getting up his skill soon to 10 hopefully we're nearly at level 9 in cooking so nearly maxed it out whoa Cody crazy dude <laughs> it's like that'll do the trick what's this gonna look like ooh fancy very fancy yay his oh right so we're level 8 cooking and level 7 of gourmet cooking. I can't believe I never realized that. And Trinity already... I'm not really sure what she's eating, but... Desiree's not really hungry. I don't want her to eat if she's not hungry. Is she having cereal? Oh my gosh. And Cody just cooked his wife the most amazing meal and she chooses to have cereal. Trinity, really? <laughs> Let's get some photos of these guys. Um, 
mother-daughter bonding time in their new house. Oh, not. Oh, Desiree is like, I'm bored. Bye. <laughs> I'm over it. Oh, she's going to help herself to food anyways. Okay, let's just get that repaired. Uh, oops, sorry, Des. We need to replace that. How is this loved up couple going? She's like, whoa, spots! <laughs> Keeping Desmond very happy. Uh, she's in a... We needed to eat something, actually. Grab a serving of that. What's Desmond getting up to? Is he going back to bed? I think he's keen to make a baby, but did we get him a job? He's a live chat support agent. Okay, so he needs to just play video games. Desmond, why don't you do that before you go to bed? That's a fun job. That is so much fun. Play game. Play Sims forever. Does it mean the game's called Sims Forever or just play Sims forever? <laughs> Um, oh, and here's Liberty in her new house. How cool is that? She's got her own house. Oh, she doesn't look that happy. She's like, this feels weird. It's not where I'm used to living. Oh, she'll be okay though. I mean, it always feels weird when you move into a new house for the first time. We'll go see her dad's, um, tomorrow maybe. Okay, well, he's playing his games, so he's happy. Desiree is in bed, uh, 9.49, that's a pretty good time. Trinity's in bed too. I'm so impressed they've all gone to their assigned beds. It is truly remarkable. Oh, we forgot about Alec, because I just saw Danny. And yeah, I don't think Alec ever really came over unless you guys saw him, but... Oh well, not meant to be, not meant to be. I reckon these two should try for a baby. Cheese shipment smells funny. Cody knows that fancy cheeses sometimes smell a little uh, ripe, but this latest shipment really stinks. Should Cody ask the chef to take a whiff or just go ahead and serve it? Ask chef. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the cheese. Oh well. Oh well. Come on, you lovebirds. Let's just get her to finish. And is his... We just want him to be 100% done with his gaming. I wonder what that baby's going to look like. I hope the baby gets Desmond's darker complexion. I think that would be nice. <gasps> no, Liberty. You have to christen the house. <laughs> Maybe Liberty can make the move and be like, let's try for a baby. And I know they're not married yet, technically. We do have to plan their wedding soon. I don't know what kind of wedding to have for these two. I'm just not sure. Is she going to try for a baby now? No? Try for baby with your fiancé. Oh. Oh. Let's watch this happen. In their yeah. new house. I'm going to say they didn't plan this pregnancy. <laughs> Like, they're trying for a baby, but they actually didn't mean to try for a baby, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Just the excitement of moving into the new home. Um, and by the way, some of these wallpapers, I wanted them to look a bit older than downstairs. Like, downstairs had been renovated and upstairs, they haven't had a chance yet. All right, you two lovebirds. So cute! Oh, you guys. Young love. Let's speed things up a little bit. Hopefully. Hopefully they have a baby. Oh, cute. Uh, okay, did Cody... Cody's still at work. Carter's home. Carter's home and he's feeling really tired. He can just go straight up to bed. How is he going in his job? He's... Culinary too, so he really needs to up his skill. Okay, all right. Well, we need to work on his work a bit. Just go to bed. He doesn't know where his bed is, but he is feeling flirty. So you know who we could invite over? Oh, it's too late to invite anyone over. Oh, well, it was a nice idea. 
I feel sorry for Cody and Carter. They work so late. Oh my gosh, Cody promoted to executive chef. Cody has been promoted to executive chef. He will now make an additional 122 Somalians per hour for a grant. Total of $253, $2,000 bonus. Great, he only works four days a week. And he is level nine. Wow, Cody, you, I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud. So how about you have some of your excellent dish uh, for starters, because I mean, for your meal, not your starters. One weird thing I noticed in the US when I was there was that I think you guys and maybe in Canada too, you call mains entrees or main starters. I can't remember which one, but entree means starter and starter means entree in Australia. So I was like, what? Confusing, c -c 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 confusing. Oh, mm -hmm. enjoying his food. He's like, thank you, Mr. Sim man up there for my fabulous family and my fabulous food. And I'm a proud dad. Aww. So cute. Okay, let's eat up and get you into bed because I want to go see Ashton and Xavier today. Uh, I want to show you guys their new house because their new house totally suits them. Like, it, it is perfect for them. Absolutely. And very snazzy. It's a build I did uh, a while ago. It's the bachelor pad, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys like it. She has work in five hours, so we might get her up, go to the toilet, have a shower. I don't want her to, oh, maybe she should have a pregnancy test. Because she's stinking. So how about we have a shower first? And maybe she'll be like, I'm feeling a little weird today. So let's try for, and see. Because uh, her work, is, she's doing, oh, I was going to say she's doing well at work, but she's only level one. So it's really up to Desmond's to keep this family going. Although they have a lot of family fun, so they don't have to worry too much, thank goodness. <laughs> Let's see. She is eating for two. Liberty is pregnant. And wow, that was quick to have a belly. It's like, oh my god, we're gonna have a baby. Oh, uh oh. Where did you go? That, that was sharing the big news, I think. Oh, Liberty, you look so cute with your big tom-tom. All right, have breakfast. Uh, maybe just have a quick meal. Have that cereal that's sitting in the fridge. And, uh... I mean, maybe she should call in to work sick today and actually just go see her dads and tell them the really big news. Uh, Desmond, on the other hand, he has work in four hours, so we'll make him go to work and it'll help if, oh no, he's already done the video games, so that's good. Eat up, Liberty. Oh, you've had enough? Uh-oh. <gasps> I've never seen a sim throw up in The Sims 4. Oh my gosh. The poor girl. I've never seen that in The Sims 4, so I'm really excited. Uh, maybe clean that. Clean that and then we'll go see your dads, tell them the good news. So let's travel. School for dads starts in an hour and Trinity's retirement pay has arrived. Cool. And it's almost Desiree's birthday. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How old? Is, how old? Only two days to go. Oh. These kids grow up so quickly. Next thing we know, Desiree is going to be having a baby and that's crazy. Okay, so uh, her dads have moved to Oasis Springs and they're living in this pretty snazzy home. So excited to uh, visit them here. And Xavier's got a really nice area for him to paint upstairs and... Ash and I'm hope hoping he bulks down a bit. I haven't put any exercise equipment in. 
Uh, but this is a house. I did a speed build of this. Uh, it was one of my earlier builds. I think it was the banana banana bachelor pad, but it's really nice. Like her daddies are rich. Uh, it's got really nice outside entertainment areas just here. But anyways, let's go knock on that door. I don't know what she was doing then, like going through the bin or something. Oh, uh, hey. Oh, she went inside to knock on the door. That's cool. All right. Let's share the big news. And by the way, this is what it looks like indoors. It's pretty sweet. Okay. Share it with Ashton first. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God. You're having a baby. Sorry, that, that was the worst camera work ever. He's like, take a seat. Okay, now let's share the big news with Xavier. And I love he has a tummy. He definitely grew more of a tummy when we were trying to get him to eat more. Oh, they're so proud. The whole family's sitting down and of course Xavier's wandering around in his <laughs> zebra pants. He always does that. Oh dear, ask to move in, become best friends. Can we do, can we get him to feel our tummy or anything? Maybe just boast about family. Oh, he's thinking about his daughter, so cute. She's like, Dad, where are you going? Cool music. They're just playing musical chairs. They're like, I want to sit next to her. No, I want to sit next to her. I mean, really make up your mind. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty awesome. They've found out the good news. She's expecting. I'm so excited. And really, she's meant to be going to work. Oh, she'll go into work today. At least she got to tell them what was happening, which is cool. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. Hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon.